Good morning. It is 6.59 a.m. on Tuesday, September 1st, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So my enthusiasm for it now being September is dampened somewhat by having not slept well. I don't, I think there's potentially a couple of different factors going on there. Uh, one is that I knew I needed more sleep from the night before, so I was planning to go to bed early, which generally amounts to me not going to bed early, but rather like ending up going to bed at about the time that I sort of normally feel like should be bedtime, but as opposed to going to bed considerably after that. So it's early in that sense, I guess. But then uh, Rocket woke me up twice in the middle of the night. Um, I think part of what happened there is that uh, um, because, well, so here's the thing. When I took him out before bed, he didn't seem to want to poop right away. And so I didn't wait, even though I know he usually poops before bed. And so I anticipated that it was possible that he would wake me up in the middle of the night. And I think that if, if it hadn't been a case where I knew I, he hadn't pooped, like if he had pooped and he was trying to wake me up in the middle of the night, I might have actually just tried to convince him to not, you know, that we didn't need to get up. He needed to go back to sleep. Um... But uh, in any event, we did get up around like 2 a.m. to go outside, and then it took me a long time to get back to sleep. And then he woke me up again at some time that I didn't even look at the clock for. Um, that time, I just told him to go back to sleep, uh, but, uh, and, and he eventually did. But my sleep was just very uneven last night, and I just feel like clammy and tired and blah clammy and tired and blah mm -hmm. but uh you know <laughs> it is what it is um fortunately i you know i'm not so blah that uh, i can't get up and take a shower and do the things that need to be done so that's what i'll do um I just ordered some new shoes. I was overdue. I tend to have like one main pair of uh, sneakers um, that I, you know, wear over and over and over again until they tend to wear out at the ball of the foot. You know, when they get to the point where it's very soon that it'll have enough of a worn spot that it might start letting water through if I were to step in a puddle. Obviously don't want that to happen, but uh, that's generally my, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I need, uh, look at that, it's getting close, I need to order new shoes. So I did. And I have gotten Nike free tennis shoes, or running shoes, or whatever you call them. Um, I guess technically they call them running shoes. Um, for quite a while, I, I, for a long time, I was, uh, you know, when I was walking around a lot, let's see, this was probably 10 years ago or so, maybe a little more actually, uh, I had had heel pain and therefore, um, was looking for ways like, you know, what's causing that? What do I need to do? And turns out that a different kind of shoe that modified my gait a little bit made a difference. And so now I wear mostly just that kind of shoe all the time. Not 100% because I do have a pair of like uh, sort of like loafer sort of style shoes that are not like, like fancy. They're not like dress shoes. But those are just really easy to slip on and those have become like the just going outside to let the dog out shoes. But uh, you know, I, I, it's, it's interesting because I feel like I started getting like brightly colored shoes and then wearing those to work 
at a time where, like, I'm not trying to speak to broader, you know, societal trends there, but exactly, but uh, you know what, I'm, I'm just like, I, <laughs> my brain is not enough, awake enough yet to draw some broader lesson out of that. Getting new shoes though. I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. How about that? <laughs>